is a winter. And been sowing like the season. It's the winter. Baby, please give me no reason. It's the winter. My body getting freezing. It's the winter. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the winter. And been sowing like the season. It's the winter. Baby, please give me no reason. It's the winter. My body getting freezing. It's the winter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been living this year. That is already the season. My dadding, I'm drunk. If I say you're living in prison, guys said I'm a gago, I'm the sad, I'm I'm the treason. Dashi tiaga ungo miga. Hey, this is my intro to the vlog. Um, I'm doing a reading vlog of two books. Um, I might get through them. I'm not told. Might not get all the way through them, but um, the books are. Terry Pratchett, the cover, the color of magic, and the beautiful by Renee Alday. So yeah, this is going to be a start. Um, today is Saturday, the thirtieth, and and soon I'm going to be doing collab video. You guys have seen it. I think you probably see on that someone else's channel. Um, I'll, uh, update, I'll update with that later, but I just wanted to do a quick intro film of this. Um, I also have, um, a video, a little clips before, um, this one of coffee. See, my coffee cup, isn't it cute? And it has, it says meow on this side, or, yeah. But then I'm doing coffee because I need a little bit. It doesn't really do anything, but I just wanted it. Wait, it's French vanilla. It's so good. Okay, so that's the end of the intro, and I'll see you when I have something read. Hey, I did the Zoom recording with um, Christy Lewis. Um, she's the Tavosky in space, and Miss Richards reads Stephanie, and we did the cat meme, um, Zoom recording. It was so much fun, so much fun. I I think I did so well. I love doing group stuff, and if anybody would like to do something with me. Again, like and everything, and those two lovely ladies, Christy and Stephanie. If you guys want to do more stuff like that again, we have to. Uh, yes, we just got to. Um, another thing too is it would be great. Maybe we could like, you know, buddy read a book together or something, and like, yeah. Um, so I did that. So. <laughs> So what I, I'm going to obviously read, because, you know, this is a reading vlog. I um, wanted to show you who I'm watching right now. Um, so, yeah, this is what I'm doing as of right now. And I'm catching up on YouTube stuff. So, so I'll catch up when I actually read something, because, you know, this is a reading vlog. Uh, yeah. See you then. This much, 
it's only a little bit at the beginning. So in the beginning, we're following. Um, her name is Celine, and she's from France. And then, and she's moving to New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, she meets uh, Pippa, and they, they become really fast friends. Um, and the story starts out in first person, and then you're not, but you don't, you're not like very, you're not, hmm, how am I put this? So later in the other first person, you don't find out what the first the first person perspective is from so i'll get back to that and my vlogs are going i don't know i'm sorry if i didn't say this before but my vlogs are going to be um spoiler ish so so keep that in mind so i wanted so she she gets on a boat and um, she comes to New Orleans, United States of America. She's from France. I think Peppa is from Liverpool or something like that. And she's living in a convent. Sorry, my throat was bothering me. So they, um, so she starts living in a convent, and you slowly get to learn that Pip, that, um, Celine is mixed, um, like, I'll show you right here, and here's a line that, this is going to be marked. I'm gonna be marking a little bit. I'm not gonna mark, keep the marks. I'm just gonna mark until I c come back and talk to you guys about it. Um, this is the one quote thing I wanted to share with you. Um, I find it really import important to me. It could be for anybody, but th with this in particular. Okay, so the quote, and this is her father telling Celine, it doesn't matter who you are, her father had argued, it matters who you are. And then, here's another thing, like, people don't, someone said that this book doesn't have any, um, that, like, any, uh, how can I put it, like, say that there's vampires in there and it's not like until later that you find out it's vampires well this person's dumb but anyway here's a scene that i'm gonna kind of like share with you um it's on page 18 if anybody but um can't tell me this isn't vampire or anything like that she reached back in the she reached back to caress his face. The scruff of his jaw uh, <clears throat> abarting her, her skin. The blood soars through her veins and he kisses her he kissed her fingertips. Then she pulled away. Her hands were warm, silky, wet, stained bright red. And then he says something in, in, in French. He murmurs and apologies. A horrified scream began to collect in Momomi's chest. Her, her swan-like throat was torn out before she could utter a sound. The last thing Nomi saw was the stars twinkling merely above. So you can't tell me that's like not vampire. Like, this is poor, maybe a horror, but like, yeah, there's the two things I wanted to point out to you and catch up. 
So, um, as of right now, um, it is a, like, 11 something, um, night on a Saturday, but I want to keep a bed schedule because I've been tired and I don't, I have, insom I think I suffer from insomnia, so, and keeping a schedule is usually good and, and I keep going to bed at the same time and each time it's, um, earlier and earlier so I started going to bed at one and then I started going to bed at uh, excuse me 12 59 and then 12 30 so now I'm actually now I'm kind of like in between 12 and 11 30 12 and I and I'm being get, either getting up around um, five thirty six o'clock, or and but like I actually got to, to sleep in today. I think I woke up around nine, which is pretty decent. But yeah, um, so I'll just come and update you tomorrow when I have something read. Have a good night. We've been told that's the way our world goes wrong Walking on the grounds we've always known Stepped on top of cars Now I don't know you You don't know me too I remember bleeding times When we watched the spark so far Now I don't know you You don't know me
geeks and lovers i am here to catch you up where i'm at i think left last time i left you was evidence of vampires maybe and um so i didn't tell you the part where she she went into a lady i think they're working at a shop and I, as I said before, she she's living in a convent, and so a lady named Aldette comes into the shop and realizes and asks our, uh, um Sheila to Cecile to Celine Celine her name is Celine. Uh, sorry, I have not had my coffee, and I wanted to update you guys as soon as I wasn't I was awake for like an hour. But I, whatever, I digress. Anyway, back to the book. So, Celine and her, and she asks Celine to, um, make a dress for her and meet her at her place. And it's kind of the nun, or the, what do you call the head nun? I can't, Mother Superior, maybe, or, um, Sister something or other, um, forbade them to leave the convent late at, at not late at night but at night anyway um but um one of the girls puts Celine under the bus and um so she has to go to the uh, office of the head sister and she She's mad, but she also sees that Peppa's there with her, and she thinks, oh no, is Peppa going to be, like, uh, part, part of the trouble? But it turns out, not exactly, since Peppa's going, she could go as long as Peppa goes with her, and that Pippa, Peppa is in charge to make sure that nothing goes wrong. So something does happen when, um, when they, when, when they're wa walking to the place um I'll show you in a second let's see so since I caught you up there so they run so they come into an alley right and they and uh Selim sees this guy being um beat up and it turns out like he could have been like it for they are beating up for him for like a good reason, even though the guy's bad, but doesn't mean. But she basically said doesn't mean because he really needed to be beat up or anything like that. Like, like, like they're beating up him pretty bad anyway. So they kind of like knock him out, and and like. I'm trying to like find it here for you. Um, I think this is the spot, or this was before. Um, okay, so let me backtrack here. Let me backtrack here. Um, so we learn. Pretty early on in the book, that Celine killed a man in self-defense because the guy was going to probably sexually harass her, no less, in a church. So, um, here is a quote that I kind of want to share. Um, that. More, right here, more than anything, Celine would wish to tell Peppa what had happened, but how could Peppa, her only friend in the new world, look upon herself and, and learn that Celine had killed a man and fled to Paris in, in the aftermath? Peppa had said herself, what kind of monster takes a human life? So she thinks she's a monster, but she was just, you know, defending herself. So, 
forward to the alley and they run into um his, his name is here ooh, 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 ooh. Sebastian St. German and she when she sees him she's shocked about about how like really handsome he is and it's like the the stop every like the stop your heart from beating type of good looking person and or everything stops like and there's the the light go ah He's a hot, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you, you see those stupid TV shows or movies that do that. So, that banter is pretty good. So, she kind of, like, when she sees him first, she kind of, like, ignores him, right? And she doesn't acknowledge him, like, really acknowledge him. Because, like, she sees how good looking he is. And she doesn't want to acknowledge her, to, basically, to herself. And that... Uh, acknowledge that he's really good looking and so she does that and she talks to the other guy and like the banter is really funny and I said that like twice already because I can't talk and I guess like she called him the ghost because he kind of looked like I think this was just, unless there was a, a ghost in the scene with them, but, and I, I really don't know. I kind of, like, got confused with that, with that, but the thing is, though, I'm try, trying to think, like, okay, that's how she, that's how he knew her name, because there's a part in here where, like, he says her name, but I'm like, when did, she never told her name, when did he see, hear her name? Now that I'm looking back, Peppa said her name, maybe, or hissed it, because, um, so they, so, so basically they knock him out and everything, and here's the thing, like, he picks her up and moves her, and that, and that whole thing is a scene, and she's describing it, and she says she feels power coming from Sebastian, or however you say it in like French, yeah, Sebastian. <laughs> um, and that's like seriously funny. And um, the funny part, he tells her that he doesn't care doesn't um give a crap to her but like vulgarly and 
um, right here. It says, so she goes, Celine stood taller, her, her knuckles turning white. Yes, I do. Bastion leaned closer, a flicker of firelight caught in the golden gold watched chin on the war of a lion etched into the scent ring i don't give a fuck and at the time like where like ladies weren't really um how can i say this like back then you had to um you couldn't talk vulgar in front of like lady ears and stupid shit like that <laughs> and like even though the, those words shocked her, um, she never heard them said out loud, um, even though she lived in a shelter alive. And she, the feeling that she, she felt um, when she, after he said this to her, she felt it when her attacker, she felt powerful that he said this to her because it felt like her, when her attacker, um, had stood on the floor of the altar, like I said, it happened in the church, uh, she felt something bigger than herself and still did not feel a hint of remorse or anything she done. It was terrifying to know such dark creature whether to be beneath Celine's skin. This is not behavior of a pierced young woman, nor were her emotions of a young, of a girl who should by all rights be seeking forgiveness, salvation from God, she did not quite know or understand. So then from there, they make their way towards the place they need to. And they find out, like, it is a um, restaurant. And something's off and weird about the restaurant. So you get that feel of it. And so, like, um... You get, you get that feel, and then they run into the person that she was supposed to say that to take the, take her up to a that or something like that. And um, when they go up there, they find out that it is a place um, for gambling, um, for people to play chess, and that, and we've... So, like, when they come in, they run onto a man who kind of, like, says, oh, you're lucky. Um, and that, like, she, that she never played roulette before, and then she lied. And the guy knew that she lied. And then, so they finally meet. Finally, uh, not meet. Finally get to, uh... Of that and like she comes down wearing pants and like Odette was dressed as a gentleman with her trousers were made of supple baskin and her shirt was balloon sleeves with what was stark white Covered by a la elaborate waistcoat of green dry card. <clears throat> the chain of gold around the pocket watch hung across the front of Odette's vest. But the, the and then something in the piece de resist, I don't know, that's French, had to be in incredible. Incredibly tired silk cavette pinned to the center of by the ivory cam cameo. 
Her brown hair had been slicked back from her face and gathered the nape of her neck in a simple knot. A slow smile curled across Odette's face at their stunned silence. She swirled her wine knowingly. Why, you're wearing trousers, Peppa remarked a moment later, her eyes enormous. I find it incredibly freeing, Odette moved forward, resting one of her gloved hands in her pocket. Some days I adore wearing corsets and bustles and layers of silk, but sometimes it pays to wear pants. That, I like, I like that line, and that, that right there made me like, uh, excuse me, Odette, it, it was really great, I really, that part, I really like, and then you come to find out that, Remember how I mentioned some people were playing chess and the pieces were moving on their own and Odette brushed it aside saying, oh, there, it's just like, it's not like magic. It could, it's like, I guess they were, she was trying to say it was magicians kind of like magic. Um, and And like that, and the so they find out that that has a power or or whatever that she could see in the future that she has seers powers, I guess, and that she can see little bit glimpses in the past. But she says they're hazy or foggy, and that like. You could change, if not set in stone, you could change your past, basically. And that part was cool. Um, so she removes her gloves and she reads for Celine and she doesn't tell her what she sees. And, or she goes, oh, it's a little foggy, I don't really know, maybe come back later for another reading or whatever. And then, um, Sebastian was s somehow, um, brought up and, and like, that's when she realized, uh, Celine realized that. Sebastian treated her like an equal when he, like, said the current, like, the, that phrase her that I, from before, and so I have it marked here, but I don't know, I don't remember what I marked, why I marked it, it I knew I should have done it last night, catch it up catch you guys up last night but I guess I really didn't so the last thing I want to note here is 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 this a dead smile turn fierce I only caught flashes of possibility. The lace obstructed my view. She held up a gloved hand. Annoying, annoyingly but necessary. It is easy to lose sight of what's real when you're lost in the stars. That quote, I like that quote. Like it's, it's a really good quote. Um, so I'll, I'm gonna be reading a little bit more of this book um although uh actually i'm just gonna be reading this page in the book and then i'm gonna and then i'm gonna put the this marker here because that's where i was at last night and then i'm going to start um terry pratchett the color of magic 
and see if, if you could see like I have it marked so I'm gonna read until here and then catch up with you guys what I have read in, in this book from there because I don't know if I'm in this while I'm maybe going to finish them. I just want to make a vlog, a random vlog. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing right now. I'm going to be reading, even though I'm not part of the polathon. I'm just glad that I caught some type of a time to do some type of reading and uh, do some reading sprints with, with these with these wonderful people. I love Jade, and I like, but I can't uh, participate in the polathon because I'm doing other readathons. I'm doing the supernatural readathon thing and the black authors readathon, which is romance. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing this and reading, and have a great day. Now have a great day. But I'll see you soon. Hey, my nerd ebook people, my book dragons, my friends. I'm here to talk about this, where I'm at. I hit my mark where I wanted to be, and I just going to talk about it. So, the prologue is kind of like the foundation. I guess he's they're talking about how. The, the world is set on a turtle and it's flat and you actually can fall off and that there's like hidden diamond diamonds somewhere out outside of the turtle but people either never come back because they probably fall off and probably die or they come back with nothing so can we just point out like right now the names are weird like more pork like every time I read it I, I wanted food I wanted pork like that you eat <laughs> but no like strange names and like the cool thing about this is like there's like footnotes as if like as if like it's a what do you, I can't think of the name of it right now but like some of these but anyway some of these names are like the main character that we're following is called Rince Rincewind is that how you say it I don't know but that's how I'm saying it Rincewind like, you're rinsing stuff out, and there's a wind, and it rinses. Um, it starts out, like, the the book starts out with, there is a fire, and it's a magical fire, and I think it has, like, it's made of different colors. Um, and then it goes back a few days, I think, when... There is a new person in town. Like, someone else, here's another someone else's name. Two Flower. So, this is Two Flower. Two Flower is the one that come, comes in from another country, I guess, or another world in, in the world, or place in this flat world uh, of Discord, okay? And. Um, and Two Flower wants to experience everything about where where um Wing Flower is from. And I don't remember the where he's from or anything like that. So my bad. Um uh, and I don't feel like looking for it, so you guys aren't sitting here like like last time. So there's that. But I have marked some quotes I want to say. And this is kind of like sort of funny because so when they're trying to first meet 
I'm not sure where this is, but I'm just going to say the quote. Um, just don't talk about it. His hue to flower was already thumbing through his book. Okay, so he has this magical book that helps him tell him what to say to these people. And Rince Wind, Rince Wind um, knows many languages, so he goes and through a bunch of lang like languages he knows to see if Rint, um, Rint flower or two flower, sorry, no, two, two flower knows. And that's how, like, that comes about. And then the other one I was amused, amused by was, um, the was um this boredom fear of learning taste of heterosexuality yet around his neck was a chain wearing the bronze octagon marked him as a luminous of unseen university the high school of magic whose time and space transcendent campus is never precisely here or there now, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, if anyone who has read Discworld, could you tell me if any of the books um, take place there at any time and any place? Or is it just always mentioned? Um, and then here again, I think, is the mentions... Um, book again and he says it won't it won't work said who knowingly it's the book you see it tells him what to say magic so um that's where i'm at and um so when when's when and there's what I read so far. He gets, I guess, a, a horse from this practitioner dude or something. And it turned, and it seems like there's this, um, uh, like, rich, like, too many, too, so much, the rich against the poor thing going on here. Where I'm, where I'm, like, getting at. And, uh, the other guy would excuse him of, steal of stealing, but he wasn't really stealing the horse. He gave the guy, um, gold, some, some type of gold that would, that actually is, um, is usable, I guess. Like, you could pay, pay, use it pay, but he thought, like, it wasn't like that. And... And things like that. And then I'm at the... I just got to the point where... Um, Rincewind gets his picture taken. And he's he can't say or say something. Or say things out loud or something like that. And that... um. That the luggage halted a few feet from the wizard and from the moment retracted its legs. It was, it had no eyes and when Swine could see, but he was nevertheless sure that it was staring at him expectantly. Shoo, he said quickly. It didn't budge, but the lid creaked open, releasing the dead feet. So that's the last thing I stopped at because... I'm like like I said I I'm doing that so I'm actually on page 52 so that's where I'm at here um you'll see me next reading um the next section for the beautiful um like I said I'm not sure if I'm going to 
finish these books for these vlogs. Um, I don't want it to it to be too long. As of right now, it's like I think more than thirty minutes long. Um, so it depends. So I don't want this uh, vlog to go over um, an hour. Like I don't want it to be an hour. So we'll see. But I'll catch you next time when I read. I'm just gonna have to end the vlog here, guys. Um, uh, actually, it's gonna be a. This is part one. There's gonna be part two. Don't. The only reason I can't do it longer because I film on my phone, and I don't want to exceed anything where I can't like upload anything, like anything like that. Um, so I have to keep things as they are. So. So I'll see you in the next one. It's gonna be right away. I'm going to today is the third. I'm going to schedule the vlog to come up tomorrow morning. So and then I'm gonna immediately start on the next one. So I'll see you when I see you.